Time to take a look at what's new in Warframe, this weekly reset, starting of course with the Archon hunt that is going to be the Azura Archon Shard, which means taking on as ooh, Archon Burrell for the Azura Shard, which is a spy mission, then an interception, then the showdown. And because it's the Azura Shard, it means that Chipper is also selling an Azura Archon Shard. For the normal circuit, the frames you can get this week, it's either Necros, Valkyrie, or Oberon for Elite, elite? <laughs> Steel Path for the Incarnate Genesis devices, it is the Lex, the Magistar, the Boltor, the Bronco, or the Ceramic Dagger. Remembering, of course, the one you pick first is the one you will get at Tier 5, the one you pick second is the one you will get at Tier 10. As for Nightwave, Elite Acts, Convert 10 Riven Slivers into a Riven Mod. That is done on Earth at Iron Wake, which is oh, there. And complete three sorties, which means it's going to take at least three days to do all of these. Normal Acts, mine six rare gems in the Orb Valis. Complete three rescue missions. Collect 15 Vorm or Fast Residue in the Cambian Drift. Kill 30 Xmas enemies and complete three Void Armageddon missions. Cred offerings, there is the usual. That's the best way to put that. <gasps> Citrine's alternate helmet. I do love the look of this because it has the gem floating in the helmet, which is nice considering the rest of her looks like cracked open geodes and this one actually has a gem in the middle. Stanax helmet by any chance? There usually is. Lots of different helmets. Ah, uh, shame that's the only new one. Auras, there is Steel Charge, 60% melee damage. If you don't have it, always worth it. It's a 9-point mod, meaning match the polarities. It's an extra 18 mod points for your Warframe. Rifle Scavenger, Energy Siphon regenerates energy over time, but it's a 0 0.6 energy rate. And Loot Detector, plus 30 loot rate off. You haven't got Animal Instinct, can work wonders. There is the Karak Desert Camo Skin Blueprint. The Grinlock Desert Camo Skin Blueprint. Really sucks that you can't rotate these yourself. I'm sick of complaining about that one. The Dark Dagger Blueprint. This is the blueprint to build the actual Dark Dagger. Same with the Jaw Sword. Jaw Sword. This is the blueprint to build the actual Jaw Sword. This thing... Been waiting for this to be primed for quite some time, to be fair. The same kind of goes for the Dark Ones. They've kind of set the thing that they can do this with the Pangolin Sword, so hopefully they will come one day. The Glassmaker Ornament Landing Craft Decoration that literally just rotates round. The Emissary Sigil. The Exergis Shock Camo Skin Blueprint. The Kinetic Siphon Trap Decoration. Landing craft decoration. I wish it stayed closed until you got close to it, then it opened up. Would have been a nice touch to that. There is the glassmaker sigil. I never noticed that great big gaping hole in the middle of Wisp before. I know she's got one on the back. Never noticed there was a similar one on the front. There is Loki's decoy augment. There is the Viper ammo efficiency augment. And Mirage's prism augment if you have helmets invigoration segment it's always worth checking this the invigorations are different for each frame and what invigorations are there for everybody always worth keeping an eye on because every 10th invigoration mutates and allows you to put any of the invigorations there on any frame you want to as long as you have them equipped obviously when you go in and do it checking in on teshin steel path on our store this week we have the shotgun ribbon mod Still wish these things were more like 50 Steel Essence instead of 75 because 75 is still equal to a lot of Platinum when you do the whole conversion rate from Steel Essence to Platinum. Seriously overpriced, but is more worth it than a Rifle one and definitely more than the Zar one. But it does mean we're getting closer to the Umbra form I returning. Not to forget, lastly, on August the 17th at 10.59 a.m. ET, week 4 will come to an end, meaning the final week, week 5, will begin. That runs basically all the way up until the 25th of August. Hmm. 
So we have a Jackus, Jackus, a Jackal boss fight, a Lephantus boss fight, and a Tyrigo boss fight. Ooh, this could be interesting. I kind of wish the Jackal was the last one, so he was a much, much higher level, but still should be quite fun. And of course, you're going to have to complete this if you do want these rewards, assuming they ever actually get around to delivering them. Because we'll be delivered together after the event ends. So if you haven't completed at least three weeks, you can't get the emblem, and you have to do all five to get a hold of the Gunblade skin. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.